football, rugby, cricket and road running get the lion's share of support and media coverage in South Africa. But there are other sporting codes that defy the odds by making an international impact. One of the fields in which South Africa is punching far above its weight is mixed martial arts and Irshad Said is a champion who has led the way. Michelle met the white tiger uncaged. Irshad found his passion for kickboxing early and his support of parents encouraged his decision to train full-time in Thailand when he was still in his teens. Irshad returned to his hometown with two world titles and the Chinese MMA title under his belt. When I heard the White Tiger was in town, I knew I had to meet him. Now this is not to be mistaken with the rare Bengal beast, but rather a world Muay Thai champion. Irshad Sayed invited me into the ring and I'm ready for an epic match. Hello, hello, hello. I'll take it from here. <laughs> White Tiger, how did that come about? It's an interesting story actually. Um, after finishing matric, I went over to Thailand to continue training and fighting. And um, I had one fight at Patong Stadium and the promoter asked me what my nickname was. And I told him, I currently I don't have a nickname. And then, you know, that night as the announcer was introducing me, he announced me as the White Tiger. And I was like, wow, that's quite cool. And uh, afterward, I went up to the promoter and said, like, why? Why the White Tiger? And he said, because you're something special. And I was like, oh, this is cool. And, you know, I just kind of stuck with it from there. Going back a couple of years, how did you get introduced to the sport? My father put myself and my sister into a kickboxing class just for us to learn self-defense. Once I started kickboxing, all the other sports like rugby, cricket, soccer, it just felt so boring after that. And, you know, I just kind of stuck with kickboxing from then on. When did you realize that this is what you wanted to do professionally? You know, when I was a kid, I, I never dreamt that one day this would be my actual job. Um, you know, it was just a passion for me at the, at the beginning, you know, like uh, something I enjoyed doing. And uh, when I realized that you can actually make a living from it, um, you know, I decided not to go the conventional route after school and study, etc. So, um, yeah, once I finished school, I was 100% committed to making this my career. I'm glad that you mentioned your childhood. What were you like as a kid? I was very active. People who knew me when I was a kid would probably say I was quite naughty. Uh, but I think it's just because I had a lot of energy. Not so much focused on the schoolwork. I was more kind of an active child. He is passionate about staying fit and practically lives in the gym. But for him, there is no place like home. And the mother city gives him the opportunity to catch up with friends and family while making the most of the sports he loves. Irshad, you are currently overseas, correct? I'm currently based in Singapore. I've been living in Singapore for the past three years. And uh, I come down to South Africa when I have a competition, so kind of get the best of both worlds. And what does a typical training session involve? We train from uh, Mondays to Saturdays. Sundays is our day off from training. But we do two sessions a day, so mornings 9 till 11, and then afternoons again 2 till 4 daily, and then meals and rests in between. Are you going to show me a few moves? Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, hands up. Fists closed. That's it. Let's go. Jab over here. Boom. Cross. Up. Nice. One, two. Bam. Bam. Left, right. Turn your hips. You get more power. Up. Up. Nice. Muay Thai is not only about punching. There's kicks, there's knees, and there's elbows. Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you how to knee. So from here, I'm going to step and I'm going to knee. So I'm going to hold my hands here. Step your left foot forward. Go. Right knee. Up. Nice. Rishad, what about the sport inspires you so much? You know, watching the Karate Kid or Bruce Lee movies, even John claude Van Damme movies. Um, you know, it's something I always kind of wanted to do. And, you know, after finishing matric, I moved to Thailand just to continue training and learning more about Muay Thai and, and martial arts in general. It was really something special for me. Tough profession you've chosen, but now who or what keeps you inspired? I don't wake up in the morning and I feel like I need inspiration because it's something that I enjoy doing. Um, it's my job, so when I wake up in the morning, I don't think, oh, i got to go to the gym. I wake up in the morning and I look forward to going to the gym. What inspires me is that I'm doing something that I enjoy, basically. Not many people have the opportunity to follow their dreams and earn a living doing something that they actually love. Irshad also knows that it's hard to make a living from Muay Thai, unless you're right at the top. 
What are we doing? Daddy, you're gonna hold the bag. Okay. Get a good base, I'm gonna punch. Yeah. Now at that moment when you realize you've won an international event, right? <laughs> what does that feel like? It's an amazing feeling. It's something quite hard to describe because, you know, uh, you've been preparing for so long, like an eight week camp, and uh, the fight is sometimes very short, you know, it can be five minutes, 10 minutes, maximum 15 minutes. And uh, you know, if your hands get raised, you feel free after that, you know? And sometimes it's literally blood, sweat and tears that have gone into preparation for this fight. Blood, sweat and tears, now you know that better than I do. Tell me how you manage these injuries. Luckily, I've had no serious injuries or surgeries thus far. And uh, my face is still okay at this moment. I got a couple of scratches and bruises here and there. But, um, you know, the small injuries, but uh, nothing too serious thus far. Okay, grappling, is that a thing? Oh, you want to get into some grappling? I want to get into, is that what it is, grappling? Let's go. Okay, so you want to learn a little bit of grappling, okay? So I'm just going to demonstrate something uh, on the panther over here, and then you're going to give it a try, okay? So here, I'm in full mount, okay? So in MMA, we can punch, we can elbow, and we can arm lock, okay? We're gonna pass the left leg over the head and arm bar. Okay. The Panther's in for a little bit of a damage here. Let's even add in a little bit of punches. Punch, punch, and arm bar. Ooh, boom. <laughs> I think you need to come in and join the class for a little bit more practice. Shot, man. No matter who you are or what you do, Irshad believes that a one-track mind is crucial to focusing on the task at hand and to get the most out of your training. Irshad, tell me a bit more about your initiative, kickboxing against crime. It was an amateur fight night where local gyms would compete against each other. The spectators would pay an entry fee to come watch their, 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 their friends or their family members compete. And uh, uh, part of the, the proceeds would be donated to various rehab facilities and centers around the Western Cape. What sort of support does it uh, provide to the addicts? It's more about getting the youth involved in sport. You know, because when they don't have uh, anything to focus their time and energy on, they kind of stray here and there. We'd have uh, some underprivileged kids coming to the gym and try to just, you know, Get kids involved in something meaningful. World champion. Everybody aspires to that. But what is your advice to be able to do it? There's lots of people that want to be world champion, but it's all about hard work and dedication. If you're not dedicated to it, and you're not willing to, to work hard, it's just gonna stay a dream and it will never become a reality. It certainly can be hard work and particularly difficult when you have to fight away from home. Ishan Sayed is indeed one of a rare group of fighters. White Tiger Sayed! It's not often that you get to say a world champion taught you a couple of moves. Whilst the White Tiger is ruthless in the ring, he's also got a care inside. An all-rounder indeed.